Your AMD CPU is not running at full potential and it's hurting your FPS. Most gamers don't even realize that stock BIOS settings are slowing down their performance, adding input lag and causing FPS drops. But in the next few minutes, I'm going to show you the exact BIOS tweaks that will unlock the max performance on your AMD system and there's no overclocking required. So if you want higher FPS, lower input lag and smoother gameplay, stay tuned because these settings will make a huge difference. So whenever you're in BIOS, all you're going to do is you're going to press F7 if you're on MSI to go to advanced mode or just click advanced mode in your BIOS. You're going to go to overclocking settings and OC explore mode if you have the settings set it to expert and go to advanced CPU configuration. Now disable SVM mode and disable NX mode if you don't use these. Games like Valorant and some other games actually force you to enable this in order to even launch the game. So if you play Valorant or if you play Face It, then you might have to keep these enabled. PSS support disabled and spread spectrum disabled as well. Then go to AMD overclocking at the top, precision boost overdrive for the purposes of this video and to give everyone the least possible problems, set this to enabled. And SMT control, if you have overheating problems on a Ryzen 9 or a Ryzen 7, you could disable this. However, on a Ryzen 5, do not disable this. LN2 mode 2, this is just some stuff for extreme overclocking. It's very unnecessary for what we do. LCLK DPM, if you have the settings, set it to disabled. Then go back, go to AMD CBS, global C state control, disable this. However, if you have really bad temperatures, leave this on auto. And the easiest way to figure out if you have really bad temperatures is just you want to look at CPU core temperature while you're gaming. If it's above 75 degrees while gaming, then just leave this on auto. Power supply idle control, typical current idle and disable IO MMU, LN2 mode 1, same thing LN2 mode 2, disable those, CPPC and CPPC preferred cores, disable both of these. Then you're going to go back, go back again and scroll down, AXMP of course set this to profile 1 or enabled and then FCLK frequency for AM4 aka people on DDR4, you're going to set this to the half of whatever your frequency for the RAM is. So for me it's 3000 so I'm going to set it to 1500. Now, if you're on DDR5, you're just going to set FCLK frequency to 2000. Then UCLK div 1 mode, you're going to set this to UCLK equals MMCLK. And then scroll down, go to advanced DRAM configuration. And what I like doing for DDR4 is I set TRRD underscore S to 4 and TRRD underscore L to 8 and TFA to 32. Now, if you're on DDR5, set them both to 8 if you're on 32 gigabytes of RAM. If you're on 48 gigabytes of RAM, TRRDL should be on 12. Then TFA for both DDR4 and DDR5, if you're following this guide, you can set it to 32. Now, if you're on DDR4, you can set it to 16. However, you might start getting some crashing and some memory errors. So, if you just want to be safe, set it to 32. Just scroll down and power down enable. If you're on AM5, so DDR5, do not disable this. If you're on AM4, aka DDR4, disable this. TSME, you could disable this on both AM5 and AM4. And bank group swap, this is only for DDR4. Disable this and bank group swap all set to enabled. And DRAM latency enhance again just for DDR4, set this to enabled. Now on DDR5, you might have data scramble in here. Just disable that if you have the option. Then go back and then just go to motherboard settings on the left. Go to advanced, disable MSI driver utility installer. And then go to PCI subsystem settings. Disable resize bar support. Disable above 4G memory. And PCIe gen switch set to gen 3 or gen 4. And then chipset gen switch also max that out. Then just make sure ASPM control is disabled. Go back, go to USB configuration and enable XHCI handoff. Then go back, go to Super IO configuration, go in here and just disable this. This is just a printer port. So if you want to hook up a printer to your PC with some special cable, then you could just leave this enabled. However, literally almost 99% of you watching do not use this. So go back, go to integrated peripherals. And if you don't use the audio jacks on your PC or if you don't use Wi Fi or Bluetooth, you could disable it here. So for me, I'm going to leave all this enabled because I do use it. Then go back, go to Windows OS configuration and make sure to set this to UEFI if you're going to be using Windows 11 and set secure boot to enabled if you're going to use Windows 11 and play Valorant or face it. However, if you don't use Windows 11 and you don't play Valorant or face it, just completely ignore what I just said. Then go back and then go back again. Go to security, go to trusted computing. If you don't use Windows 11 and if you don't play Valorant or face it, you can just set this to disable. Then go back, go back again, 
and go to hardware monitor on the right. Now, AMD is very, very sensitive to temperatures. The, the lower the temperatures are, the higher the frequency is on AMD. So if you want the best results from this video, you wanna set your fans to full speed by pressing F on MSI. Now, depending on your motherboard, it obviously might be something else, but you just wanna set the fans to full speed because the lower the temperatures are, the CPU is gonna boost higher, thus giving you more performance, more FPS, etc. And that's why temperatures are very important on AMD and in general, you wanna make sure that you're not hitting some crazy number like 75 or 80 degrees while you're playing games. Because if you do, the CPU has to lower the CPU frequency down and you're gonna get stutters, FPS drops, and more. So make sure to max this out. Then go back. Now, ideally you wanna save this as a profile. So what you could do is you could just go to overclock and profile that's blank and just set this to like Zilly video, for example, and then just save overclock and profile. And that's all you have to do to save this for the settings. Now, let's just say for example, there's a power outage or your CMOS battery gets reset for whatever reason, you can just click load overclock and profile and then it'll just load these exact same settings that you did for watching this video. So that's pretty much the majority of everything that you have to do in this BIOS. Now, depending on if you're on AM5 or AM4, you might have to worry about RAM speeds being a little bit too high depending on what RAM you bought. So for the purposes of this video, you wanna make sure that you're around 3800 MHz for DDR4 and if you're on DDR5, just set it to 6000. Do not set it at anything above that. Now, that's pretty much it. There's not much else you could do for AMD. There is memory overclocking and a little bit of CPU overclocking. But for the purposes of this video and for the purposes of making this as safe as possible and making it so everyone just applies this and gets a huge performance boost, I'm not going to cover that stuff in this video. But now, what you would want to do is just press F10, as we can see, these are all the settings that we changed, I'm just going to press yes on that. It's going to restart your computer, it's going to take a little bit longer to pretty much boot up your PC, just due to the fact that we changed some RAM timings and we enabled XMP. So just give it a second and be patient with it. So as you can see, everything booted up completely fine and we are in Windows. Now you might see an orange tint on your end, that's just how my video is looking right now because I have night light turned on. I am recording this at 2am so just don't worry about that. But as you can see, our CPU is running at pretty much a faster speed what it normally should be at and our memory is at 3000 megahertz. Now this PC is pretty bad, this is my streaming PC, so as you can see it's a Ryzen 5 3600 and a GTX 1650. But believe it or not, in games like Valorant and Fortnite, I am able to get around 240 FPS. On Valorant, I'm able to actually cap it at 288 FPS, which is double my refresh rate. Now on Fortnite, I'm only able to get 200 FPS unless I drop the resolution down to 1280 by 720. But yeah, these settings help this PC a lot. But anyways, that's gonna be pretty much it for these AMD BIOS settings. If you guys have any questions on these BIOS settings, drop down a comment and I'll try to answer it if you have a solid question. Other than that, that's gonna be pretty much it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed and hope you guys got more FPS and lower input delay. If you did, like this video, subscribe, turn on the post notifications. But yeah, peace out. But before you leave, if you guys want all this done for you, along with overclocking and some optimization in Windows, then go to the first link in the description and book a PC optimization service with the best of the best on the internet. Peace.